Graham's number is so impossibly big that if you tried to remember all of its digits, your brain would collapse into a black hole, and you wouldn't even be close. Let me explain. So the human brain is estimated to be able to store around 2.5 petabytes of information. That's 2.5 million gigabytes, or around 20 million billion bits. Now, the largest arbitrary number that can be stored for a given amount of data is 2 to the number of bits you have. Now, these numbers are going to get big, so just know that each bit can store about 3 tenths of a digit, which is why 2 to the 10 is about 1,000. So for every 10 bits, you get one more than three digits in your number. Fine. So putting that together, the human brain could theoretically store a number with 6 million billion digits. That's a lot but it's peanuts to Graham's number. Now let's try again, but instead of encoding information in synapses, let's pretend we can encode a single bit on each atom that makes up the brain. A human brain contains roughly 140 trillion trillion atoms, so that means this repurposed brain could store a number with 40 trillion trillion digits. That's about 10 billion times more digits than the brain could store in synapses. But again, still peanuts. All right, let's just pack as many atoms into the skull as possible. The human brain can be approximated by a sphere with a radius of 7.5 centimeters. We can't pack more mass into that skull than the equivalently sized black hole because any more mass makes it take up more space. So the maximum mass that could be contained in a human skull is around 50 trillion trillion, or 5 times 10 to the 25th, kilograms. Now if all of that mass was hydrogen atoms, each encoding one bit, we could have a maximum of about 3 times 10 to the 52 bits in the human skull, which means this brain-sized near black hole hydrogen computer could store a number with about 10 to the 52 digits. That's the maximum number you could store in your brain without it collapsing into a black hole. And it's still basically nothing compared to Graham's number. So there's no hope in storing Graham's number in the brain. And even if you magically stored one bit of information in every Planck volume in the observable universe, you still wouldn't be close. And a Planck volume is the smallest meaningful volume according to our best theories of physics. So you could store a number with around 10 to the 186 digits in the observable universe. But even such an extraordinarily huge number is closer to one than it is to the number of digits in the number of digits of Graham's number. Graham's number is so incomprehensibly large that there is no useful way to talk about the number of digits, or the number of digits in the number of digits, etc., in Graham's number without talking about the number of digits in the number of number of digits. And even then, you'd have to iterate this many, many times. I wish I had some way of describing just how mind-bottlingly large it is, but it's impossible. The best I can do is tell you how much bigger it is than anything you could ever conceive of. Sorry, 